Hi, welcome back to Sophia's Art Supply Review. Today I would be reviewing another product from the Brustro line and this is the Brustro Artist Watercolor Pencils. Now watercolor pencils are extremely versatile and this gives an advantage of experiencing two completely different worlds of colors, the dry as well as the wet medium. Since watercolor pencils closely mimic the property of color pencils, they may simply be used as dry colors. But since they are also water soluble, they may be used as watercolors and this is the property that we would be focusing on in this video. So today, we would be unboxing the Brustro Artist watercolor pencil set of 24 and doing a swatch test, comparing them with the popular Derwent watercolor pencils and then taking a look at three ways of making these pencils an indispensable part of your artistic journey. This set of Brustro Artist watercolor pencils contain 24 colors and is priced at Rs 6.99. The pencils come in this beautiful tin box which is approximately 21.5 into 19 into 1.5 centimeters in dimension and weighs about 350 grams. I personally think that this may be too heavy to carry in a travel kit. They also have a larger set of 72 colors which is priced at Rs 1.899. When you turn over the box, you will see swatches of the colors enclosed with its color number and names. And the set also claims to be highly pigmented with excellent light fastness. But as you can see, these details are not provided for individual colors. The tin lid is held to one side with hinges and so it opens up flat. In my experience, this is rather unusual since most brands prefer to make their lids completely removable. This arrangement has its advantages and disadvantages. The good thing is that with one side secured, the chances of the box accidentally opening up is remote. But the disadvantage is that when the box is kept open, it takes way too much space. And it often happens that when you're sketching, you may not have the luxury of so much space. These are how the pencils are laid out in the box and they look so beautiful. The barrels are hexagonally shaped with a color dipped exterior that indicates the coarse shade. Each pencil is stamped with a silver foiling indicating the Brustro branding. The pencil core contains 4mm water soluble lead sharpened to a fine point. Let's do a swatch test to check the colors. Now since neither the individual pencils have color names mentioned on them, nor are they laid out in a sequence matching the swatch card on the box, it is slightly difficult to match the colors to their intended names. I just hope that I've done an accurate job with it. While applying dry, few of the pencils require additional pressure to release the pigments on paper. It almost feels that there is a waxy coating on the tip that is preventing an easy release of colour. However, with the exception of a couple of colours, all of them look quite bright and vibrant on paper. While applying water, again I have a similar experience. There are a few colours that require more coaxing to release the pigments while the others just burst into bright colours. Now let's do a quick comparison with the Derwent watercolor pencils. Now unlike Brustro, Derwent does have color names mentioned on individual pencils so there is no ambiguity about what color one is using. One can also noticeably feel the difference when the pencil is used as a dry medium since the pigments are released easily on paper. I also feel that when water is applied, it's easier to manipulate the Derwent pigments around the paper to give a nice even wash. Overall, after doing the comparison test, I feel that while the Brustro watercolor pencils don't really match up to the Derwent pencils, yet it's a pretty decent set to have for the price that one is paying. Now let's look at three ways that I intend to use the Brustro watercolor pencils. There are times when one is on the move and just has few minutes to record an interesting scene. Watercolor pencils are a great way to quickly capture the mood with colors and values. These are also great to make small thumbnails before you commit yourself to a full painting. Another great way of using watercolor pencils is to make travel friendly swatch cards that you can easily slip into your sketchbook. You can then use a water brush to activate the paints and bring your travel sketches to life. And all this is possible without having to carry any heavy watercolor equipment. This is probably my favorite way of using watercolor pencils. So here I am using the Daniel Smith watercolor tubes to paint in a few loose abstract tulips. 
The Brustro pencils are great to create organic lines and strokes, creating effects that may not be possible to recreate with a brush. The second technique I love to use is to scrape the pencil against sandpaper and let them fall on wet areas of my painting. When you blow away the powder, the pigments would only remain on the wet areas, creating a lovely texture. Overall, I think the Brustro watercolour pencils are great to have in addition to a good set of watercolour pan or tube. They are useful to capture an interesting scene with a quick colour sketch and can really augment a watercolour or a mixed media painting with interesting textures and effect. As always, do let me know how your experience has been using this set. I would love to hear from you. If you enjoyed this video, do click the like button and do subscribe to my channel to watch an art supply review every Wednesday.